It's an honor for us to have here Martin Dalic, Good the afternoon. former uh, Minister of Finance in Croatia. Thank you very much for the honor of joining us here at the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy in Berlin. We would like to ask you a few questions that's just to gather your thoughts on some salient issues. Thank you for inviting me and as I said during the lecture it was really a pleasure for me to, to be here and actually it is pity that we didn't have more time for a discussion and, and more questions. So I will start with, start with the first question. In your lecture today, you spoke about economic opportunities for culture-based development. Could you please further explain how can culture be a de determinant of effective bilateral business negotiations in a globalized world? Well, I, I think that um, it is unreasonable anymore to expect that economic development can be only generated through big investments, through big projects that will employ 1,000 or 2,000 people, suddenly create a, a great number of, uh, of working places, which was, for example, the case maybe 20 or, or 30 years ago. So I think all these small opportunities maybe small in comparison to the to the size of the global uh, problem of a country uh, should be explored in, uh, in in details because creating jobs in a, in such a way through the, through the opportunities in culture in heritage in my opinion also contributes to the sustain stability of the society because people are not taken out of their homes people are not forced to go to the cities but trying to use the the opportunities in the places where they are, they are living um, so i would say that um, in in these global um, uh, relationships um, such a maybe small uh, small issues small things can generally contribute to to the to the overall stability of the economy overall competitiveness uh, of the economy and uh, and its better position vis-a-vis -vis its vis-a-vis um, -vis trading partners um, and these things in my opinion also allows people to 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 know each other better uh, and knowing each other better then can can also help in uh, uh, in doing and in implementing uh, big uh, big businesses uh, big projects for example th th there are very uh, um, th th there are great number of Croats who live abroad mm. Uh, also in this country, according to some estimates, six to seven hundred thousand uh, Croats live in Germany. And also a lot of them in Austria, Switzerland uh, and uh, around the world. And uh, as a nation with so, uh, uh, with so big number of people living abroad, uh, it is really exciting and really nice to see from time to time how many people actually know about the country, how many people know about its um, specific features, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, it's, um, its culture. So it seems to me it's a helping element. In, in, in bilateral business uh, deals, negotiations, and, and similar things. Thank you. Yes, it's you. Uh, do you think that the role of culture is increasing or regressing with the framework of international business negotiations? Um, well, I think uh, uh, maybe uh, the the importance of specific individual cultural habits mm -hmm. I, I think is decreasing but the importance of knowing the other people knowing the the culture of other people um, and adapting to the um, uh, to the culture of other people there um, one of the speakers today was talking about the ge gestures and the importance of, of gestures in the communication uh, knowing about the, the culture of um, other people I, I think uh, is growing element and it will increase in uh, importance 
well, quite simple. For example, we are southerners. So Croats, Italians, uh, Spanish people, we do have a, a, our intrinsic habits, a way of communication, which is maybe not so present uh, among uh, Nordic nations. Mm -hmm. And having uh, negotiations between Croats and, 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 and mm -hmm. Swedes can uh, <laughs> can actually produce, it, that's my, <laughs> my experience, can actually produce a lot of uh, funny situations only because of the differences in their um, cultures, in their attitudes toward uh, giving proposals, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> gestures, um, comprehensiveness of the explanations, the way how they come on the <laughs> top of the issue. Uh, the northern people, they are much more straightforward. The, the, the southerners, for example, are much more explicable and like to talk more. <laughs> and one needs to take that into the account. Mm. Just for a little clarification, you said like the individual habit, cultural habits are decreasing. Can you, can you like, tell us in your opinion why they are decreasing? What are the forces that push them to decrease? Well, I, I, I think that uh, uh, may, maybe I, I uh, wasn't um, quite, um, quite precise mm -hmm. and quite clear. I mean with the globalization mm -hmm. and with the unavoidable need to work and meet other people mm -hmm. and other nations, one need actually to learn uh, how to how to adapt uh, mm -hmm. it hers or his uh, individual cultural habits and how to accept the the, the, the habits and the attitudes of the others mm -hmm. uh, so uh, th this is what I had in mind mm -hmm. um, the one can um, and is free to um, uh, to to preserve uh, um, his or her own uh, national attitudes, uh, habits, the, the, the way of communication, but also one needs to know how to, to adapt it mm -hmm. and how, mm -hmm. to, um, uh, how to just simply fit into this, um, uh, into this globalized, uh, uh, globalized world. Th th that's the reason why I uh, said that I, I think the importance of individual habits will decrease because the, the scope and, uh, of our businesses, the scope of our negotiations are wider and wider. Mm -hmm. We are not uh, anymore closed inside mm -hmm. our nations, inside our borders. Uh, you already partly answered the question, but like, how can cultural diplomacy be used as a sufficient tool for mutually beneficial international business neg negotiation? Yeah, uh, you, you, you are right. I, I think it's, uh, it's extremely important because it contributes to, uh, to the reduction of the barriers among uh, b barriers between people, uh, between uh, um, and in, in that respect facilitate uh, the, the, the opportunities for the business and the way how the business is, uh, is done. And it seems to me this is going to be um, a long-standing importance. Yeah, actually, you just partly answered the question that I was going to ask. So I'm going to conclude with one question, which is like, in your opinion, which natural and cultural resources have the greatest potential in terms of economic uh, development? And how uh, ca uh, can we make sure that uh, those resources are not damaged in the process of exploitation? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think, I think, Creativity and open mind uh, somehow preconditions uh, for uh, uh, for effective uh, um, for effective use of these um, uh, of these resources. Uh, one also uh, doesn't need to be to be shy. Uh, it seems to me that very important part of the ability to use the natural and cultural heritage as economic tool is uh, is to be proud mm -hmm. on uh, his or hers uh, uh, culture cultural heritage uh, <laughs> well aware also of some uh, maybe not so good things mm -hmm. 
in uh, uh, in uh, these areas, but um, even. Uh, in a countries which are not um, extremely rich, which are not uh, very developed, mm -hmm. uh, people should be proud it's on true. their culture, on their heritage, and actually tr uh, uh, try to find creative ways to offer that uh, uh, to the others. Uh, on, on many occasions, and I would say at many instances in in case of, uh, of my country, I see that sometimes people are shy, do, do not want to, uh, to, to, to share and to exploit some opportunities because they think and they believe that our way of living or habits are too simplistic, uh, too modest, and they are asking themselves who would be interested in uh, But do you think politicians would do that? Politicians would be shy because probably you're talking about individual like normal yeah, people, I'm, yeah, I'm talking but politicians, about the normal because we're people. talking here about <laughs> international economic and business negotiations, so usually these are politicians who take care of that, right? Um, well, I, uh, I I was talking from the standpoint of, uh, of normal ordinary, people, yeah. normal, uh, 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 normal people. Uh, when we talk about, uh, when we talk about politicians, look, I think their task is to provide and open a space for the normal people mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to exercise their uh, um, uh, their uh, talents, their opportunities, their um, business ideas. Mm -hmm. um, I am a person who, who strongly, ideologically believe that the only role of the of the state, of the politicians, of the public institutions is actually to create a space mm -hmm. for the others, to, to, to serve to the others and remove the blockages. That's true. Uh, which maybe block uh, the activities uh, of, uh, of businesses, the, the ideas of, um, uh, of ordinary people. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. a lot of these small opportunities I have been talking today and we are discussing now are actually blocked because people are faced with the barriers in the bureaucracy, people are faced uh, with the barriers uh, in the complex legislation, um, very often people are discouraged uh, because the procedures are, are, are complicated. Um, far away from that, that I would advocate that these things shouldn't exist. Of course, they, they, they should exist, and the bureaucracy, and the rules, and the procedures, and the laws. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the task of the politicians and those who are in a, in, in a public area is to actually adjust and fit these things to uh, to be suitable and, and motivating uh, for the uh, for for the entrepreneurs, for people with the ideas, for for people who are actually every day fighting for their life. Uh, Martina Dilic, it was indeed a pleasure and an honor, an honor having you here with us today. Thank you very much for your insightful inputs and answering our questions. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.